Constantly checking an email inbox, composing emails, and replying to clients is cumbersome and leaves not enough time in the day to manage other tasks. In this video, we will examine how Spring can save you time with automated email communications. We will discuss email attributes first, followed by email templates, and finish with the send mail feature. Before we begin, a quick note that emails larger than 20 megabytes often are not able to be sent, so be conscious of attachments and composing an email that is the appropriate file size. Now let's continue with what are email attributes. Navigate to email attributes by clicking email and scheduled posts in the sidebar and then selecting email attributes in the drop down menu. Before we dive in, let's discuss what an email attribute is. Attributes are information about clients such as name, email, or purchase information that are stored in a secure database. When selecting attributes, you are selecting a set of attributes to use in an email template. Let's look at this more in depth. Click create in the top right. Input the email type name, which describes the purpose of the email, such as welcome. Then select the set of attributes that best match the email's purpose. For a welcome, we will select get user details. Multiple template applicable allows this email template to be used for more than one purpose. Finally, put in an optional description if desired and click save. Now that an email attribute has been created, let's make the email template. In the email and scheduled post drop-down menu, select email templates. Click create in the top right corner. Input a template code and template name, which can be the same thing or code can be a shortened version of name. For code, we will type in welcome, and for template name, we will type in welcome as well. Input an optional brief description and move on to add email template. Now we can view the set of attributes by selecting an email type. Input an email subject line and compose the email template. You can input the attributes into the email by clicking the attribute desired in the list like so. Add any attachments, being aware of the file size, and click Save. Let's move on to Send Email. Click Send Email in the Email and Scheduled Post drop-down menu. Send email has two functions. An existing email template can be sent to a program, session, or group by selecting the appropriate fields in the drop-down menus. Or, custom recipients can be checked and an existing email template can be sent to a select emails that are inputted in the to field and added to the recipient list. In either case, a subject line must be entered and then click Send Mail. A note to understand is the text editor is not functional and an email template must have been created beforehand to use the Send Email feature. The remaining item, Post Scheduler, under the Email and Scheduled Post is discussed in another video, so be sure to check out that pivotal feature. That is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.